Hello everyone and welcome to the Sam and Ryan channel. My name is Sam and I'm in Los Angeles. My name is Ryan and I'm in New York. Yay, we remembered to do the intro. Now people know where we are. <laughs> hey, I do, this is a quick um, director's note. I am in the process of moving. So that is why I am not in the typical setup. Um, so if things look a mess in the background, if I didn't shove the mess just far enough out of frame, please forgive me. Thanks so much. Uh, let's get on with the video. Ryan, we're talking about the Jimmies. We are talking about the Jimmies. It is the 15 year anniversary of the Jimmy Awards. I am a 2011 Jimmy Award winner. And if you are in the New York area and you are watching this video like th as it's being released this weekend, this upcoming Monday, January 29th, the year of our Lord 2024, I am hosting a Jimmy alumni concert to celebrate the 15 year anniversary of the Jimmy Awards. It will have very notable alumni uh, singing all of the very famous people like Andrew Barth Feldman, Renee Rapp, Eva Noblezada will not be there, but the rest of us will. So come check us out at, at 54 Below on Monday if you're around. It's going to be a very exciting night, um, so you should definitely come if you're around. And if you aren't around or if you're watching this video in March, doesn't matter. There was a reason that we decided to talk about the Jimmy Awards, so we're going to talk about them. I won't be there. But I'll be there in spirit, just so you know. I'll watch on the live stream. Wait, no, that's actually a thing that they're, they're, they're doing a live stream as well. You are so much better at this than me. Yes. You're so welcome. There is a seven o'clock show and a 9.30 show. And at 9.45, a live stream of the second show will begin. You can get tickets to that live stream somewhere on the internet. I don't know. Google it. You'll figure it out. We'll put, we'll put links. In, in the description. But okay, right. So we're talking about the Jimmies. We're trying to get people to come to a thing. What are the Jimmies? What, who are all these people? Who are all these alumni? Alumni of what? So the Jimmy Awards are basically like the Tonys for high school kids. And this is a really interesting factoid that I definitely have memorized and I'm not reading off a screen. The Jimmy Awards was founded in 2009 by the Nederlander Alliance's LLC, Pittsburgh CLO, and the Broadway Educational Alliance. Since then, the program has impacted approximately 100,000 students from over 50 regional high school musical theater competition. It's been the catalyst for more than $6 million in education scholarships. That's just information that I, I had in my own words. So my story, there, there's a, a organization called Spotlight Education in Minneapolis, and they, they do like the Tonys of Minneapolis high school musical theater. So sure. they send judges to high school shows and they give out awards, you know, best musical, best performance by a leading actor, tech awards, costume awards, all that kind of stuff. And through the Spotlight Education program, there's a competition called the Triple Threat Competition. And if you win that competition, you are eligible to go compete nationally in the Jimmies. And so the Spotlight Education program is Minnesota's version of that. There are all of these regional versions of that all over the country. And the winners of all of those come together to compete nationally at the Jimmies. And every year, at the Jimmys, one male and one female are picked as the best actor and best actress winning the Jimmy Award for that year. So I won it in 2011 as a representative of Spotlight Education from the great state of Minnesota. And so you mentioned this earlier, you win a scholarship as well, right? Like what's what's like the prize of other than, you know, the actual award? you know, trophy. Yeah. So other than a trophy, they hand you a very, very, very big check. And by big, I mean physically large. They bring out one of those giant cardboard checks and say, congratulations, you've won. The Jimmy Award uh, winners each win $10,000 that can be spent towards their uh, college education. And they also offer smaller scholarships as well. Oh, lovely. So a musical theater competition for high schoolers. Take us back, 2011. What, like, what was your experience at the Jimmys? Obviously, we know we know you won, shout out to you. I bet you pulled so hard. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but like, what, what was that like? Oh man, I hated it, Sam. I really did. 
You I, did. Well, I'm not competitive. Like, I hate... The whole reason that I do theater instead of play sports is that I hate to compete. Like, I just want to do a play. So... I I very much kept to myself. I did not make very many friends. I was not doing the whole like sharky, meet all of the directors, talk to all the people, try to get all the solos. And I'm not bashing mm -hmm. that. Like some people have that kind of drive, that kind of tenacity. I am not one of those people. So I, w I felt very much out of my element. And I'm not just saying this because it makes it a good story. I was positive that no one had any idea who I was, that no one gave a f about me and I was very comfortable to just go there do the thing be a representative from the great state of Minnesota and go home empty-handed I was certain that I was not going to win the week is very intense they put together a opening and closing number that everyone participates in as well as medleys from all of the shows that you're representing so the way that you go to the Jimmy Awards is by winning an award in your local regional contest. And that award is based on a role that you played in your high school musical. So the medleys are all of these people representing the characters that they played to win their regional award. So I was there representing Minnesota, um, as Jay Pierpont Finch from How to Succeed in Business, because that was the show that we did that year that was spotlight eligible. And so the gag of our medley was that we were all doubled up. There were two Jay Pierpont Finches, there were two Tevias. Like, so our medley was all of the sort of like doubles, and we had these like sort of like competing, like, ooh, which Jay Pierpont Finch is better, which Tevia is better, you know, that kind of vibe. We also had yeah. a medley that year that was literally six Millies because there were six people there representing the their winning performances thoroughly modern millie from their regional <laughs> program honestly i watched uh this last year's jimmies just because yeah i i think they're really fun and there are clearly a lot of talented people that you know are in it and come out of it the medleys bring me so much joy especially when it's moments of like wow they're are four aerials or like <laughs> there's so many bells or like what's what's good and then there's like one like mama rose and it's like like just all of those pairings are so fun to see no it's giving i mean i give a lot of props to the directors and the choreographers at the jimmies not only to put those medleys together, but to even conceptualize, okay, how are we going to make all of these different performances from all of these different shows make sense? Or what are we going to do with the fact that we have 12 millies this year? So yeah, there's a big opening number that everyone is a part of, a big closing number that everyone is a part of. There are all of these medleys. So not only are you learning the opening and closing number, learning your medley, learning all the choreography, learning the songs, incorporating what you did from your regional production into these medleys, but then they also have a suite of masterclasses, talkbacks, seminars, and like, you know, cool kind of you're in New York tourist opportunities as well. So it is a very jam-packed week, not a lot of sleep, a lot of hard work, not to mention the fact that the whole time you are also being adjudicated because they also have to pick who the finalists are going to be to compete on the night to see who is going to be like crowned the winner. And the way that that process works is horribly stressful. So they basically tell you that everything you do in rehearsal is being judged because they want to see who stands out as a leader, who stands out as a team player, who's a good dancer, who's a good singer, who's a good actor, how you work in the space, how you comport yourself in a professional way. And then they also have a whole separate adjudication where you sing for a panel of judges and in front of all of your peers a separate song that you have to pick as your selection for like, this is kind of my last attempt at making you like me. Wow. The results of who are picked as the finalists are announced the night of the Jimmies right before intermission. So you don't know that you're a finalist until 15 minutes before you have to go out there and sing that same song that you sang for the judges to try to earn your place as a finalist in front of a full house on a Broadway stage. The Jimmy's takes place on the Minskoff stage, which is where Lion King has been on Broadway for the past 8 billion years. 
years. And so you don't know whether or not you're a finalist. And if you get selected as a finalist, you have 15 minutes to get yourself ready for the fact that you are going to be performing a solo that you did not know whether or not you would be performing that night. And it's announced live in front of a paying audience. And then they bring you under the stage and they put you on the Lion King elevator and they ah. lift you up onto the stage and they say, please welcome your 2000 whatever year it is, Jimmy Awards finalists. And there you are like, oh my God, I'm on a Broadway stage. I'm being hydraulically lifted up onto this stage. I just learned that I was a finalist and now I have to remember all the words to the songs that I was convinced I was only going to have to sing once because I had nowhere on my radar planned to be a finalist, let alone win the damn thing. That is such an insane thing. Like I, I forgot, but then I remember remembered I was thinking about this when I was watching the most recent one. Because honestly, it made me sad to think about like all the people that like, you know, like prepared, like, cause I know everyone's obviously prepared, but like all the people that like, yeah, thought they were going to get to sing their song on that stage. But like, I'm just thinking about the pure, like adrenaline of, of knowing that you're selected to be a finalist and then only having like that amount of time before then, you are as a high schooler standing on a Broadway stage all on your own. Like that's, that's insane. Like a rush, but obviously like, as you said, I'm sure like stressful or just like, but also you probably don't even have time to process what's happening. You're just, you're thinking about like, no, okay. I just, I, I have to sing. I have to act like I, I have to put on this performance. Well, yeah, and it's actually worse than that because they announce the finalists, as I said, right before intermission. So then you go backstage and during intermission, they're talking you through, okay, this is the elevator. Okay, you're, this is the order you'll be singing in. Like you have like five seconds to talk to the accompanist because you've never worked with them because they didn't even know they would be playing your song. And then they're like, now that we've inundated you with all this information, you have 10 minutes to go chill in the dressing room. So then you go to the dressing room where all all of your competition that you just beat is sitting there waiting for you, knowing that they are not finalists and you are. And sorry, but let's be honest. It's not like theater people are like really respectful and never catty. You know what I mean? So then you're like yeah. in the dressing room with your competition that you've just beat. And they're all just like, Oh, like congrats. Like, and you just kind of have to sit there and stew in that energy before you go step on the elevator. Yeah, that's, I'm sure there were some Rachel Berries, you know, like, that's so, so insane. <laughs> so you sang, you sang, someone to fall back on was yours, right? Yes, and uh, I won and they can't take it away and I've already spent the $10,000, so I'm comfortable saying this now. The solo criteria so the criteria for this solo piece that you pick is, it has to be a song from a musical. And my song is not a song from a musical. I picked Someone to Fall Back On by the very famous musical theater composer, Jason Robert Brown, from his album, Wearing Someone Else's Clothes, but it is not from a musical. So when I filled out the sheet, I put Someone to Fall Back On from the musical, Wearing Someone Else's Clothes, and no one caught it. Oh, I bet your competition caught it. Scoreboard. So, hey guys, if you're like, I really wanna see the footage of Ryan at the Jimmy's, guess what? YouTube is a wonderful thing. <laughs> There's so much here. There's so much, so much to see and find. We'll put the links in the description for you to go check it out on the Jimmy's channel, but not yet. Finish watching this video first, okay? Stay here. So Ryan, you win the Jimmy. It's 2011. You're on top of the world. How formative of an experience would you say that the Jimmys were for you? Just kind of like in your artist path. Make it a positive response. <laughs> no, I, it is a positive response. I mean, <laughs> I, yeah, I, 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 I'm a straight shooter and I'm, I'm not, you know, 
I'm not going to lie and say like, I loved the Jimmies. It was super intimidating. I did not have fun. It was really hard, <laughs> but I think it's supposed to be hard. And I think that, you know, winning $10,000 and beating out what they have deemed to be 50 of the most talented high school seniors or high schoolers, actually, I think that you don't have to be a senior necessarily, but you know, it, 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 I don't think it's supposed to be easy. So, you know, uh, that's good. But it was it was hard and I did not have fun. But like it was formative and it was a very positive experience because I had basically decided to give up on theater. I mean, I, I viewed it as a hobby and something cool that I got to do in school and a nice way to make money as a kid. But I was all set up to go to the University of Minnesota to study English and to follow in the path of a lot of people in my family and be a teacher, which I viewed and still obviously view to be a very noble profession and something that I'd be good at. Winning the Jimmy, which was a complete surprise to me and not something that I expected, really sort of changed my worldview and changed my opinion about the possibility of what my life could look like as an artist. In the theme of not being prepared for anything, when they announce who the winners are, they take out the trophy, they hand you the giant check, and then they say, now say a few words. And no one ever told you that you had to prepare a speech. <laughs> so I found myself basically out of body, floating above myself, watching myself standing at the dais. And what ended up coming out of my mouth was like, this is not a trophy. This is not a victory. This is a promise that I'm going to keep going and that I'm going to stick with this identity of being an artist and make this happen for myself. And... It wasn't until that moment that I felt that way, and I have felt that way ever since. The way I would have been sobbing if I saw like a high schooler get up and say, like, honestly, I want to cry now. Like that, that's 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 such that's so beautiful. Like I and I just love that that this experience exists for high schoolers. You know, to to have that life path and career path like affirmed in that way and to be supported to continue it is just such an amazing thing so for me obviously like i i was a theater kid but i didn't know of the jimmies i didn't ever really hear about it in like my like theater program or or even in high school or anything um so i learned about the jimmies through you obviously not everyone can say that they dated the 2011 jimmy award winner yeah nowadays most people are like the jimmies happened in 2011 well so that's that's kind of the point that i was coming to is like i i feel like after knowing you i myself saw the jimmies start to really snowball into this event. And obviously I think kind of with everything like this these days, I do think we have social media to thank for a lot of these, these moments that kind of felt captured, you know, of the time um, of, of past performances and just People love to feel like they're watching like a star be born. Yes. And I think that obviously is kind of the essence of the Jimmies in a way. It's like, look at, look at all these future stars. Wow. Can't wait to come back in like two years and like see what's happening. And, and I think one of the reasons why it like, kind of continues to garner so much attention is there have been and I think will continue to be very successful alumni from the Jimmies. And so that's something it's like, it kind of feeds itself. It's like when you realize, oh my gosh, like I can go back and look at like Ryan's performance or I mean, God, talk about the star of the moment right now, like Renee Rapp, like the, the fact that you can like be like, oh, she was in this like high school, like theater competition like i like th there are literally people i see in in her comments now being like i was a fan of you since the jimmies like it's i feel like social media has definitely helped just kind of capture all these moments and like be able to create this following but yeah just like what do you really have to make of the fact that like the jimmies are just as big as they are now. 
like it's not just a it's not just a theater kid thing anymore. I feel like it's it's much bigger than its intended audience at this point. Yeah, I'm pissed. <laughs> I would so much rather be the 2021 Jimmy Award winner than the 2011 Jimmy Award winner because in 2021, people actually knew what it was. But I mean, okay, in all seriousness, I, I do think that it's social media. I mean, the premise of the Jimmy Awards is just as potent now as it was 10 or 15 years ago. This is like the Super Bowl of high school theater. And if you participate in high school theater, and if your high school theater is eligible to be a part of regional programs, programs. It's not just the people who compete in the Jimmy Awards. It's all of the students who compete in their regional programs and might have a chance to subsequently go to the Jimmy Awards. I mean, we're talking about hundreds of thousands of high school students that are all essentially competing for this prize. It's a riot. I mean, when I tell people who've never heard of the Jimmy Awards, what the Jimmy Awards are, what the process is, and what like sort of the stakes and the drama are, they're obsessed with it. They're like, oh my God, I can't believe I haven't heard of this. Like, where do I sign up? So even now, I think the Jimmys are the most popular that they've been. I don't see that reaching a ceiling anytime soon because it's just too damn excellent. No notes. <laughs> I don't even know that I have more to say other than the fact that I have to, I have to obviously own that I am so one of those people that's like, okay, now that I know about this, I'm going to be following this every year. I'm going to be like looking at all the TikTok comments, like, like finding out all these people. And I'm so excited because the male winner from last year, Langston, I the second he opened his mouth on that stage, I was watching the live stream and he hit us with my Petersburg or yeah. And, and I was just like, winner. Like <laughs> I, I am, I was talking about myself earlier. I love to feel like I've been, I've, I, I saw him through a screen perform at the Jimmy's and was like, that's a star. So I just felt like I needed to publicly put that out there and claim that. You know, and this felt like the, the proper time to do that. And to bring it all full circle, Langston will be there on Monday. Yeah, tell him I'm a fan. I will. Please, 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 if you're in the New York area, go check out this Jimmy Awards anniversary concert. Um, Ryan's going to be a great host. It's going to be a great time. Again, like these are people that were literally selected from all over the country and then won this competition. These are the people that are going to be performing. Like it, there's no way it's not going to be a great show. So check out the link in the description for tickets, for tickets to the live stream, et cetera, et cetera. And again, for those juicy videos of Ryan performing in 2011, because they're really great. As always, be, be sure, sure to, to like, like and subscribe. subscribe and we will see you all next time. Bye. Bye, Daddy.